Hi guys, Harley from Vetmill, and today we're looking at Gem, the free max disposable tank. It's not the kit, just for tanks. Let's do this! So this is what's going to happen today, we're doing a review. Then Sunday I'm going to the expo, so I will definitely promise 100% to do a live walk around like I did at the last expo. So you probably, I don't know what time I'm going to get there yet, because we've got kids. Uh, but if I get my way, it'll be 10 o'clock. If I don't get my way, it'll be about 12 o'clock. But I'll do a live walk around, and then on Tuesday, I'm hopefully going to have a bit more content, so I'll be able to make a video for Tuesday of the Expo highlights, rather than doing a review. And then the week after, we'll do a proper, decent review. Sort of like the Vinci Pods by Vupu, or... Preferably an RDTA or a full kit. I don't know. It does kind of depend how much money I've got spare as well. Which at the minute is not a great deal. So without further ado, let's crack on! The gem pods are disposable and come in little packs like this. They're generally looking at about 10 to 50, maybe. They're generally looking between like 8 and 12 pounds per pack. Open it up. This has you got your two tanks. Obviously I've used one, and then inside here you've got some spare widgets. These aren't the first disposable tanks I've used, I used to use the Lucid kits, I think they were called Lumi. I don't know if the tank's called Lumi or the tank's called Lucid. Either way the tank and the kit are called Lumi Lucid, whichever way it goes. They're by Geek Dip and they were awesome, uh, I used to sell them and I used to have them in store. For anyone that I didn't have a coil for, I'd give a free tank, just put them on until next week. Um, they were really good. They generally lasted between two and three weeks use. And they fired about 40 watt. So, let's talk about specs. TPD, aka anyone that adapts the EU rules, are 25 by 42.5. The standard edition for anyone that's not in the EU is 25 by 51.3. The EU TPD versions are 2mm, the standard all between 4 and 5. The material it's made with is steel and PCTG, which is plastic. 510 threads and they come in different colours, which are clear, black, blue, purple and green. If you look inside, it does actually look like a normal standard coil, but it's not. It's more like a bottom feeding coil. It's got not got any threads like this, it clear. It comes in six different coil varieties. You've got G4 quad mesh, G3 triple mesh, G2 double mesh, G2 double mesh again, different uh, ohms, G1 single mesh, G1 SS316L single coil. Um, I'll quickly go through the powers as well. The G4 quad is 0.15 ohm. 40 to 80, best at 70. The G3 triple mesh is 0 0.15, 50 to 90, best at 80. The G2 double mesh is 0 0.2, 40 to 80, best at 70. The G2 double mesh is 0 0.5, 20 to 30, best at 25. G1 single mesh coil is 0 0.15, 40 to 80, best at 70. The G1 SS is 0 0.12, 400 to 500 Fahrenheit. Best at 500 Fahrenheit, make sure the wattage is below 60 when using gem mod. So I've been using the G1 mesh coil 0.15 and I've been using the G2 double mesh coil 0.2. This is the G2 mesh coil 0.2 ohms, let's have a look. That's firing at 80 watts. It's pretty damn good, guys. As you can see, there's some really nice, smooth, thick vib coming out. The clouds are nice. The flavor's ace. There is a lot of normal vapes out there. <clears throat> there is a lot of normal vape tanks out there, but just don't quite cut what this produces. It is damn right awesome. The G1. It 
Now the G1's got just as good flavour and vape production. However, I do think the G2's better. The G2 seems to have a nice warmer hit. The G1 seems a little bit dry at the back of the throat. Uh, but there's not much in it. They're, they're in a great deal. I do prefer the G2 though. Uh, I think the flavour's better. I think the vapor's more thick. Just for standard reasons, pretty much. It's pretty much every single thing is ramped up. That's both at 80 watt. However, I have used a single more, and I did find it fires better at about 70, which is the overall recommended wattage. But that's for those of you that aren't really a cloud chaser, like I said, the double is better for nice, thick, smooth, warm clouds. There is something else that I'd like to say here. The mouthpieces are 510, I think. And they just don't feel right when you're hitting 80, 80 watts. They're easy to get used to, but you're used to having a bigger drip tip mouthpiece for this sort of vaping. I was going to compare it to the Mesh Pro, but I've lost the drip tip on that, so I can't. But if we look at the top of the Mesh Pro, it fits in quite easily. There's a big difference there between the size. But like I said, the actual air all bit is relatively the same size, it's just the actual feel of it. A lot of people are using these, that I know, instead of actually buying a tank, and it makes sense. If you want to start vaping, you've got a mod, but you brought your tank, you can't really afford to kick out 20, 30, 40 quid for a new tank, then these are awesome, and that's what they're there for. I also think the reason for the drip tips being small is for it to suit everybody. As we saw, there is a uh, tank that goes down to 20 watts, so you could probably use that at 10, 15 watts and be quite alright with that. Now, you say, what about plastic? Fair enough, that is a good concern here. Uh, I think disposal pods started to come out as everyone started to be more cautious about plastic, but I do think these have a purpose, uh, if nothing else. Like I said, I used to give away disposable tanks for free. If someone come in, I didn't have a coil. Um, that's an amazing use for it. If you break your tank and you can't afford a new one, then these are awesome. And that's it, guys. I don't really know what else to say. The adjustable airflow is here. You can't really see it because I've got the clear one. But let's turn it right down. With the airflow fully turned off, you can still pull a deep direct to them and drag through, so it's not fully airtight. But that's what you're expecting this, guys. It's not a long-term solution. It's a disposable tank. Um, what more can I say? Huh? Huh? So you said, well, you're a bit harder. The validity of using a disposable tank and buying one every week is going to end up working out more. Well, not really. If you look at the, uh, some of the coils, some coils these days go up to like £4, £4.50. I've even known some shops sell coils for £5. If you can buy two of these for £10 or £8 or whatever, then, then you're on to a win. So, I mean, you're only buying a coil, apart from this one's got a casing on it, so you can vape straight off. A ba ba boom Winner, winner, chicken dinner! Eat my new food! That's twice you've won in free giveaways, so congratulations! Dude, you have won! Thank you for your support, and obviously continued support. Sorry to the rest of you. Uh, what I'm going to do is give one of each of these pot, uh, tanks away as well. I know it's not a massive giveaway, guys, but come on, bear with me. So there you go. Uh, comment down below for your chance to win these. Uh, if anything else, it'll save you from buying calls for a couple of weeks. Uh, so to round off, I want to give Matt from Chimmel Vip a bit of a telling off. If you guys have ever read other people's comments, he always likes off pods. And... I'm going to name and shame him, he's now using the Vinci pod. Um, the Vi Vinci, Vinci, it's the Vinci. Right, the D, Vinci. Uh, he's using one of them. So, Matt, that's what you get for slagging me off and then getting a pod anyway. Shame on you. Um, so there you go, guys. Sorry I didn't do a live video. Stick with me on Sunday and we'll do a walk around together. I can't promise I'll be responding to it. Uh, comments because there's a lot about it. It is the first ever Vapor Expo in London. Not the first ever Vapor Expo. The first ever Vapor Expo is in the brand Vapor Expo. Um, because we've never done one in London before. She was at Birmingham. We have two a year. This year we're having an extra one in London. So we're going to be back doing a live video. Then hopefully I'll be able to do an highlights video on Tuesday as well of, as from different footage. 
So stick around. Um, anyone that comments on the video after, because I don't think the comments during count, I don't know. But anyone that comments on the actual YouTube video uh, from the live and from the highlights will be entered into a competition. Of any freebies, any merch I get, I can't promise I'll get some, but if I do get some, most of it will be coming to you. Yes, that means I will be allowed to keep some myself. Because I like my stickers, if you haven't noticed. I have a collection of stickers. I'd also like to apologise for my TV. I can't find my remote, so that's just sat doing no. Um, but there, so make sure you comment and subscribe for a chance of winning the pod, the uh, tanks, not pods. <clears throat> if you don't want a chance of winning, still comment down below, let me know what you think. Press the thumbs up and press the subscribe button, and then press the ring, red bell, ring the bell. Press the bell, ring the bell, do what you like. Please, I am so grateful to you all. Uh, if you are at the Vapor, oh, one more thing, if you're at the Vapor Expo, I'm planning on taking some drawstring bags with me. So, if you see me, and be like, Holly, Holly, hello, can I have a bag please? And I'll give you a vape mill string bag, because that's how we do these things. A bit chavvy, weren't it? Boom! Um, but that's it, guys. So, next live will be on Sunday at the Vapor Expo. Next week, I'm not doing a review, but I'll do an highlights video of the Expo, I hope. Um, so, until Sunday, if you're not at the Expo, you're not out being busy doing things, check me out. At some point, I'll try and let you know an ETF for live before I set off. It's in London, so it's only about three hours to get there. Uh, I'm ranting quite a lot, so I'm just going to finish on the note of Stay Cloudy! Bye bye!